Welcome to NCDOT Now. I'm Julia Casadante. Rail passengers traveling between Raleigh and Charlotte can now ride on NCDOT's newest locomotive. Miss North Carolina 2011 christened the train the number 1893 City of Burlington during a special ceremony last week. NCDOT names its locomotives for cities along its passenger rail corridor. Burlington has a rich railroad history, making it a fitting choice for the honor. The newly refurbished train replaces the locomotive damaged last year in a collision in Mebane. Traveling through Wayne County is now easier and more efficient. NCDOT officially opened the first section of the Goldsboro Bypass to traffic last week. The four-mile highway connects I-795 and Wayne Memorial Drive north of the city. The department plans to start work to build the two remaining sections of the bypass next year. In all, the project is estimated to cost about $246 million. The top security official for NCDOT's Ferry Division has received top honors from the Transportation Security Administration. The TSA presented Bobby Hill with the 2011 Field Honorary Partnership Award during a ceremony at RDU. Hill was recognized for his efforts to work with the TSA to implement programs that protect the safety and security of our state's ferry system. We leave you this week with great pictures of a special float in the Hatteras Village Christmas Parade. The staff at Midget Realty created their own version of the temporary bridge that NCDOT built on NC-12 after Hurricane Irene hit. The float honors the hard work and long hours crews spent to get traffic flowing again along the Outer Banks. The office tells us the bridge was like an early Christmas present. For information on these stories and much more, visit ncdot.gov. That's all for this edition of NCDOT Now. Have a safe and happy holiday.